Hi, this is Eric from DevOpsTechBlog.com. In this demo, we're going to be using Ansible to create users and groups on our node 1 from our Ansible server. And this is very helpful if you have a lot of nodes or host machines that you need to configure and you don't want to create users and groups on each machine independently. You could do it one time using an Ansible playbook. And that's what we're going to do in this demo. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have Ansible installed on our Ansible server. So I'm going to do an Ansible dash dash version. And Ansible only needs to be installed on the server. It doesn't need to be installed on any of the nodes that you run it on, which, which is good compared to other configure management tools like Chef or Puppet. So once that's done, I want to go ahead and do an I want to check our inventory file. So if we haven't done so already, we can do uh, look at our inventory file. We're going to use this to specify which nodes we want to configure. So we're just going to do node one. But like I said, if you had hundreds or thousands of nodes, you would create an inventory file with all your nodes and you would be able to use the playbook to create multiple, create user groups on multiple machines at once. So if you haven't installed Ansible yet, you could go ahead and install the EPPL release. So you could just do a yum install EPPL release and then do, so you do yum install EPPL release. And then once you have that installed, you could do a yum install Ansible and you should be good to go. I'm just going to cat out my EPC host file. So I have node one there and I have uh, Ansible server in my EPC host file with the IP address. So we can check to make sure that we can access host node one from our Ansible server. We could use Ansible to do that, so we'll do an Ansible-M, which stands for module, and we're going to use the ping module. And we have to specify that we want to do it on all configured hosts. So we should get a success message. Uh, that'll let us know that we were able to ping node 1 from our Ansible server. Now we could go ahead and start creating our playbook. So let's go ahead and call it users and groups. Make sure we specify that it's a YAML file. And in this file, we could go ahead and put our three dashes. And let's specify our host. So in our inventory file, we have a group of nodes under the node section and make sure we're indenting properly. We're going to go ahead and name this playbook add users and groups and we'll give it some tasks to run. Okay, so under task, we're going to create a list so the first one is name and the first thing we're going to do is add the group so we're going to add multiple groups and we're going to use the group module and under group we're going to give the name of the groups so we're going to use a loop to specify the group and the group names so the way to do that is the Jinja format, which is two brackets, item, and then close off the brackets, just like that. And the state, we want it to be present. And the way to loop through the groups is to specify the with items parameter. And then we put the names of the group. So we have a DevOps group, 
We have a networking group, developers, and engineers. So that's it for our groups. Now what we want to do is we want to run another task. So this one's going to be adding our first user, which is Lisa. Then we want to use the user module and the name is Lisa. State is present. Then we want to specify the groups that we want. Lisa to be in. So that's going to be a list of groups. We're just going to put it in the DevOps group and the developers group. Then what we want to do is go ahead and add one more user and that's going to be user Bill. and specify the user module. His name is Bill. We want him to be present. Then specify the groups for Bill. So that's going to be a list, and we're just going to put them in the engineers group. Okay, that looks good. So we'll save that file, and now we're going to run that. So the way to do that is Ansible playbook. Let's specify a dash I for inventory, and we'll specify our inventory file name. And then the users and groups YAML file. Okay, so the play is add users and groups and we get a message of gathering facts and our tasks. So on node one, it looks like it was changed to add the groups, DevOps networking, dev developers and engineers. And then you can see underneath that it added user Lisa, it added user Bill, and the play recap said OK for 4 and 3 changed. So if you go over to your node, we could do a cat etc, etc group. And at the bottom there you could see DevOps, networking, developers, engineers, and you could see Lisa was added to DevOps and dev developers, and Bill was added to engineers. We could do a cat etc task wd. And you could see that Lisa and Bill, the users, were created. And we could also do a group. We could do a group mems dash g devops dash l and that'll give us a list of users in that group. We could also do that for engineers. You could see Lisa and Bill's usernames are there. We can check the ID of Lisa and that'll specify which groups she's in. We do the same thing for Bill. And that is how you use the user and group modules for Ansible. Thank you for watching.